Now we want to check back in with Mackenzie Bart on this early Saturday morning where mm -hmm. it might be a bit chilly now, but hey, things are about to change. Oh, today is the day where you're going to be shedding, you know, a few layers. You're going to be starting off with at least a somewhat a warm coat, and then we're going to see plenty of folks out there in the t shirts later on today because we have a spring like forecast for you, and that will come with some rain as well. I want to start off uh, with that weekend forecast because today is definitely the pick day. So hopefully, you have some fun outdoor activities planned because tomorrow, early in the morning, we'll be tracking our next chance at some rain early in the morning. Not going to be an all day event, which I'll get to here in a second. I want to show you where that system is right now. For folks uh, out in the Iowa area are expecting some severe weather later on today, and you can see already seeing some wet weather early this morning. This system is going to impact us come early tomorrow morning. Now, a few pops of green here on our radar. A lot of this isn't reaching the surface, so you may see a raindrop or two if you're out early, but this uh, is quickly moving out of the way and again, not really reaching the surface here. I want to take you hour by hour into our next weather event. This is going to be early tomorrow morning, so even still at 11 o'clock tonight, things will be rather quiet, but you may wake up to some of that rain on your roof come early tomorrow. Here's a look right at 3 a.m. We're expecting a few of those showers to start to creep into the area, really moving throughout the Columbus metro area. I'd say 4 or 5 in the morning, and this will be pretty scattered in nature. A few pockets of heavier rain, but most of this will be light. That'll continue to push out of here by 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, becoming pretty scattered as some drier air moves in behind it. But that dry air not really going to last all that long because we have another system on the way. But tomorrow evening, if you did want to get out and about, probably the best time to enjoy at least that break in the action. Come early Monday morning, our another round of some rain is going to make our its way into our area, and this is going to be pretty hefty and impact that early morning commute on Monday. There's a look at six in the morning. You can see this line of heavy rain could lead to some lower visibility, also some ponding out there, and can't roll out a few thunderstorms as well as that pushes out of the area. By Monday afternoon, we'll notice a bit of uh, quieter weather, a few scattered showers, but we'll start to notice some more dry time as we head into your Monday evening as that event wraps up. Now, in terms of severe weather, this is going to change. The Storm Prediction Center does have some parts of southeast Ohio under a slight risk for a few of those thunderstorms on uh, the early on the day on Monday. But again, keep staying updated to this forecast as it could change over the next 24 hours. I'd say main threat we're looking at here is going to be some localized flooding as places could see one upwards of two inches of rainfall as we round out the day on Monday. Sending you outside right now, a few clouds sticking around with temperatures into the 40s. Nice little breeze out of the south, and that's what's going to pump in that warmer air later on today as we click quickly climb into the 60s right around 1 o'clock, making our way into the low 70s, so very spring-like throughout the day today. Will be a bit breezy this afternoon, but it will be a warm breeze. And enjoy a beautiful start to the weekend because early tomorrow morning, we're going to be tracking that chance at inconvenient weather showers early in the morning, a bit of a break in the evening before that next round of rain early Monday morning, and that is going to be some heavy rain with a chance for a few thunderstorms as well. Quieter as we head into your Tuesday and Wednesday, but chillier as highs make their way back into the 40s and 50s, and then our next chance at some inconvenient weather moving in on Friday. We do have the chance for a rain snow mixture. Models are a bit of a disagreement here, so I want you to keep tuning back into that forecast as we continue to get more information. Brittany. All right, thanks so much, Mackenzie.